today we are going to be talking about TikTok. Should your business be on TikTok? I'm Bex from Social Media Executive and I train businesses how to effectively use social media. And today I've got a fabulous guest, Richard Dawson, who is a digital marketing coach. And he's going to be sharing some of his thoughts and also, more importantly, some of the considerations you need to think about before you jump in to TikTok as a business. So go on, Richard, tell us a little bit more about what you do. Yes, well, well thanks, Bex, and thanks for inviting me. Um, so, yeah, the, but what I do for clients really is to give them motivation and confidence um, and some accountability and help them put together the overall strategy for their digital marketing. That could be social media, but it can also be things like email and SEO and and a website and so that's that's what i do for my clients and uh we've known each other for quite a while haven't we richard and uh, uh-huh. yeah you've just create the beauty about what richard does is it creates that sort of overarching marketing strategy has a look at the, at the whole business and goes right okay let's 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 get into the nitty-gritty of uh what you need to do and what's going to give you the best return on investments so go on then, Richard. What do businesses need to consider then when we're looking at TikTok? And I don't mm. think you've got some good statistics as well about TikTok mm. because everyone, it's, it's interesting because people get going, oh, we must go on TikTok. It is the biggest social media platform. Not quite the biggest social media platform. That's right. That's Facebook right, is yeah. still the biggest, isn't it? But go on, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, okay. and that's absolutely right. Facebook is, is slightly bigger, but it's, it, the size and growth of TikTok is growing so quickly means that pretty much all of us are thinking, should we have our businesses on TikTok? Should we go on TikTok for business? Um, and it's, so it's a, it's a perfectly reasonable question. Um, and in a, in a way, a bit like Facebook people, Facebook is so big that you say, can I really afford to ignore it? And uh, I guess that's really the sort of question people have in their mind in terms of TikTok is it's so big and it's so everything is trending on it. It's growing so quickly. Can I afford to ignore it? Um, but in, in size terms, you're right, Facebook is is bigger in the sense that I think it's something like 3 billion users on Facebook, something like that. Uh, I think it's 3 billion active users, I should say. That's um, right, yeah. And, and, and then YouTube, I think, is I think is just the next biggest. I think it depends how you define these things in terms of active users, but 2 billion active users. TikTok is just over a billion, I think, in active users, maybe a bit higher than that now, but it's grown so fast. I mean, it's mm-hmm. come from nowhere. Instagram, I think, is sort of around about the two billion mark. Do you think, Bex? I think it's something like that. Lower, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was certainly. Um, it will, well, I think it's grown. I think, like like you say, all of them have grown. Um, but uh, Instagram, I think, just well, TikTok was just under Instagram, but I think TikTok's in the last couple of years. Uh, is I think it's just gone over. I think it's yeah. gone over that threshold, hasn't it? Yeah. And then, and 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 just as a measurement of comparison, LinkedIn, which is one of the platforms we're on today. That's got a billion users, but about 350, 400 million people active users. Um, mm-hmm. But that's a very B2B professional platform, as we all know. Um, it's worth thinking about some of the brands that you see on TikTok as well. Um, people tend to see it as B2C, but it, and in some senses it is. Um, but um, B2B wise, for example, some of the brands you'll see on TikTok, they're really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, sage accounting software which you perhaps wouldn't be your first thing that comes to yeah. your head as a tiktok a bit dry, but obviously yeah. not yeah <laughs> um <laughs> shopify uh are on there as well obviously they're, they're, they're a massive e-commerce business now and uh square which is a card payment provider that some of you will mm-hmm. you, you will know and they're pretty cool. all three of those are fairly active on tiktok and it's a very central part of their marketing strategy um B2C, of course, you see hundreds of different brands engaging on, on TikTok now. So examples that that, that the sort of, some, well, I was going to call them blue chip, but you, I'll leave you to judge with their blue chip. Ryanair on there. Uh, they? They, they, they're heavily, he, heavy users of TikTok. Um, nice flight destinations. Uh, yes. Um, and then there's Innocent Drinks, you know, oh. um, who I think are part of Coca-Cola now, but they're, it, it, Innocent Drinks. And uh, yeah. they're, they're big users of TikTok. And also... One I found the other day that was a bit more left field was Guinness World Records are on a uh, heavy. Oh, wow, heavy, that, yeah. that's interesting. Mm, that's, that's a bit fun. Mm. Yeah, so uh, a fun, a fun and, and informative brand. So, yeah, so, you know, TikTok is big. It's absolutely massive. And I think probably the the issue really is that it's grown so quickly and it's coming to everyone's sort of uh, 
it, it's coming to it, it's come to everyone's mind in the last two or three years. It's really absolutely it's gone, gone huge. I think rather than see it as B two C or B two B, as I said, I think you've got to look at it in terms of your target audience. Yeah, of, of, of your target audience. That's the challenge, isn't it? I mean, so many businesses I've worked with have gone like, oh, so and so's on TikTok, they're doing really well. We need to be on TikTok. And we're like, right, okay, I'll do Why? <laughs> Let's step back. Yeah. Why are they doing really well? Your business yeah. is different to theirs. So, yeah, absolutely. So important, isn't it? Thinking about your target audience. It is. And I think the other thing you've got to think about, we'll come to the detail of that in a moment, um, is you've got to think about, so target audience is one aspect, as I said, also you've got to think about your capability um, of creating content for it. Yeah. But, and, and also, does it, it, there may be ways in which you think it doesn't suit your brand. It, you may think it's something that doesn't reflect your brand. Um, mm. So if you have a clear view in your head what your brand is, which are lots of people don't, but if you do, if you understand your brand, you may feel it's not the right place. Um, but that's target audience and brand are two key, two key factors. Yeah. And also, you know, and, and that B2B, B2C argument is really, really, you know, crucial, isn't it? I see loads of, loads of B2C um, sh um, companies on there. A bit like what Sarah Halsall's just said, actually, about them running the TikTok shop, but they're doing lives and they're actually doing lives with their shop and actually going live for an hour and a half and just selling stuff. It's a bit like QVC shopping. I was going to say, it's a bit yeah. like TV shopping, it's isn't working. it? It's working for some of those businesses and I find them fascinating. Well, <laughs> there's, a lot, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot to be said in that world for show and tell. So there's a lot to be showing a product. It always You get more sales if you can actually physically show and talk about the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, absolutely. So, 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 yeah, you know, it's um, it's very diverse, really, in terms of the sort of it, it terms of businesses you see on there. So, how should you fit TikTok into your marketing strategy then, when you're considering it? Where does it sit? Yeah, um, well, I, it it really comes down to the to to to, to the to the core factors in in considering it. Um, so, as I said, to go to, to just slightly touch on a bit more detail what we said before. Um, Target audience-wise, um, got to remember that TikTok is a slightly different. Is a dead generally a younger demographic um, mm. than, than, than well, certainly than Facebook is. Um, I I got a really good statistic actually that cool. apparently forty percent of users on TikTok don't have a Facebook account. I can um, I can believe that. Mm. Yeah, so this is you sort of talking more Gen Z, aren't they? That are on, I, I was just going to TikTok. use that phrase. Yes, it's there you quite go. A, Sorry, it's, I'm it's, stealing your thunder. <laughs> it's, it's quite a it's quite a Gen Gen Z type um, yeah. t -t -t type medium and uh, a millennial medium, yeah. um, but that's probably changing slowly but surely. You're seeing an older demographics start to join it more. Mm -hmm. um, it's not exclusively that, but that's how you've got to look at it in terms of is it your target audience? You've got to look at that particular that, that, yeah. that core, the core demographic. Um, so really, if your products and services cater for a younger demographic, then TikTok's going to be really important for you, and I think it's probably going to yeah. be something that you uh, that, that, you, that, that you focus on. Um, yeah. So, but that to me is um, the, the first factor, yeah. um, and. I think I think the second factor is really whether you have the I don't know if confidence is the right word. Your confidence that you're going to be create you're going to become passionate about short form video content. Um, so it's no good, as I'm sure you agree with this, Bex. It's no good saying taking a video that you've done for necessarily done for YouTube or you've done it for for Facebook and plunking it on TikTok and thinking it's going to go really well. Now there might be some coincidentally it might so. The sort of thing that you've created in a reel, for example, for Instagram, may well be something that does well on TikTok. But the, you, what the common failing you see is people putting um, videos they've created for another platform on onto TikTok. Yeah. Uh, so you've got to have a, you've got to have a passion for, or an, at least an, an interest, be inquisitive about wanting to create short form video. Um, so if you're already doing video content on your other social media platforms, that's a great start because yeah. you've also got an interest in doing it. If you're too if you're too shy to do to do that, then you're going to struggle a bit, I think, unless you really get into it. Um, mm -hmm. so, so 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 definitely, that's a real thing. Passion for that short form video format. 
Yeah, and also thinking about the different different ways. I um, was watching um, uh, a live stream the other day, and someone has done um, and seen a massive reduction in reach for their reels on Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. And they actually got in contact with Facebook. Amazingly, uh, mm. they did have a big account, and they said how, how they penalised him because he was <laughs> yeah. They yeah, penalised him because he put content on TikTok. Really? Okay, that's very interesting. The same yeah, content. Watch... Yes, the same, <laughs> the same content. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess you, yeah, so, and if maybe they posted on Facebook first and then put the same content up on TikTok. Um, so, yes, it's very important to create authentic um, content for, um, for, for, for for TikTok and not to just be tempted to think, oh, whatever I put out on, on the other, in other platforms, I've just plonk it on TikTok and it will do really well yeah. because it because it generally won't. So that second factor is having that passion and interest in creating and commitment to in creating sort of video content. Um, so yeah, and then there's um, the, the third the third factor really is which is relevant to other social media platforms is that authenticity and and also a commitment for to, to do community engagement. Yeah, do you know, and this, I'm so pleased you said that because this is the key to any social media platform. It's not about just posting content anymore, is it? Your, your, your channels won't grow in followers and you won't get a very high reach if all you do is just post content. Yes, I mean, so, so, so uh, as, uh, as you know, engaging with people's comments and responding mm -hmm. to those comments and being part of that, that, that discussion with people. So taking the time to reply and engage and answer people's questions um, and showing appreciation for any compliments that they give you as well um, yeah. is absolutely vital in all social media platforms, as you're always telling people. But it's really important in TikTok, and you are kind of judged by TikTok and how good you are at, at community engagement. So that's kind of like the, the the other factor. And the other things that I would probably point out as well in terms of evaluating it as to whether you're going to be on it is: will you be able to commit the time to keep an eye on what's trending? Um, mm -hmm. TikTok is very much about what things that are trending in terms of content and challenges. Um, so participating in some of their challenges, for example, is a key part of doing well on on, on, on TikTok. So um, you know that's really that's really that's that's really key. And I think come back a little bit what we're saying about being prepared to to get involved in creating good video short form video content. That is also the the, the final fact. Really, is uh, a sense of being adaptable and prepared to experiment with different types of content. Um, those are really that's that's a really key factor as well. Yeah, and it, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because you know, like you say, different types of video trend over time, don't they? And if you can jump on a trend, I had a client on TikTok who jumped on this little trend. It was this. I can't even remember what it was now. It was this little um, funny little alien man, and you could dance with him. Uh, and there, you know, they they just jumped on that trend, and they got literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of views um, from this from this one video, which was just phenomenal because they were just watching those trends. They were on there regularly as a participant, seeing what was trending, and it just worked so well. And and, and that's a big time commitment to do that. So mm. you know, um, so that's why that's that's kind of why well, that's really sort of important, really. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so the so algorithm as well is very, very clever on TikTok, isn't it? I think it's, uh, you know, the minute you start watching videos about dogs, you end up getting <laughs> a gazillion dog videos put in front of you, don't you? You're right. Videos that you've liked or, or copied or shared, and sorry, or shared uh, on the app are things that TikTok then will, will, will start to, to, to reference you by. I think all the, uh, the other things will be accounts that you follow, uh, any comments that you posted on those accounts and things like that. Um, video completion rates, for example, videos, that, uh, all, all, all sorts of your engagement with the platform. We talked about that before. Um, in terms of the way that you that you help your content to trend better, it's it's how, it's also things like captions, the sound. Sounds is a huge huge mm -hmm. part of TikTok. Um, so sounds that are trending. Um, are, are, are really are really important, um, yeah. and obviously, as with other other platforms, hashtags have a have a play a part in that as well. Um, yeah, and you've got to be careful, haven't you, with sounds? Because obviously, as a business account on TikTok, you don't have 
that many access to sound. So often you can't kind of jump on the bandwagon of trading yes. sounds, can you? Yes. So you do need to be aware of that. I've had a lot of clients, and I, and I don't know what you think, um, Richard, but a lot of clients going, well, we don't want to go into a, you know, we don't want to do the um, professional account. We want to, to keep the individual accounts so we can jump on these trending sounds. Mm. But I don't yes. know what your advice yeah. is with that. Well, probably the same as yours. It's not very wise because it's a bit like people using LinkedIn personal profile and giving it a business name. And yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's not, not designed for that. It's not. And actually, as a business, you're in breach of copyright because you're you, using, you are, you are you're using people. other people's music in you order are. to um, progress your business, which is obviously is not allowed. Absolutely. Certainly not here in the UK anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, ab yeah. Yes, ab yes, absolutely. And I, yeah. I, I think the other final factor I would say, uh, which is a place to every all, all of the all social media platforms, which you talk about a lot as well, is consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency of your content is absolutely vital. If you don't have that, you can create a fantastic piece of TikTok content and you don't do anything for three weeks after that, then you know, you're yeah. not going to be, it's not going to work for you. No, it's absolutely crucial, isn't it? Consistency. Yeah. Mm. No, well, that, I mean, that is just some really good. Food, food for thought, Richard, on, you know, what businesses need to consider before jumping onto TikTok, because, you know, it's not something you can jump on and be a great success within the first month. It takes time, doesn't it? It, it takes does. time, dedication um, to build up these platforms. Definitely. So, yeah. So, well, thank you. They've been really, really interesting tips. And um, how, I know, if people want to sort of carry on this conversation with you, how will how's best to get in contact with you? Well, if people could, uh, probably the easiest way is to go to my LinkedIn profile. So if you look up Richard Dawson, Digital Marketing Coach on LinkedIn, you'll find me on there. Um, I think you've just posted the link. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, pl please, if you haven't already connected with me on LinkedIn, send me a connection request as well. But come and have a look at my LinkedIn profile, um, and uh, you know, and if you, if, you, if you need to chat, just sort of give me a shout. Really, that's been brilliant. Well, thank you so much for giving up your time today no, uh, to welcome. share with some tips. No, it's been great. And um, for those of you as well, if you are watching this live, please do give us a thumbs up. Engage, engage on this post. Engage, Ask, engage. Yeah, <laughs> engage on this post. Carry, you know, practice what we preach. Um, and if you are watching this on catch up again, just post any comments and any questions and we will happily answer those as well. And if you do want any sort of tips for growth tips for TikTok, for example, I've, I've worked with a couple of people who have been on live stream showing some growth tips for TikTok. So if you go into my YouTube channel, uh, social media executive, then you'll see growth tips from uh, Morgan Branding, who are very, very successful on TikTok, and also have had Megan Vincetta from Alchemy, who's had over 6 million engagements uh, on TikTok. So again, have a look on my YouTube channel for lots of tips and advice from some of the experts. Um, but thank you for watching this live. Uh, thank you for everybody for engaging. And please do follow, follow me on social media. We'll go live every Monday, 12.30, and the videos are then uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So please do give us a like, and thank you very much, everyone. We will see you next week at 12.30 for some more social media tips. And just a very, very big thank you to Richard. Thank you, Bex. Thanks, guys. See you soon. See you, see you next week. Bye.